Well, I think the two um, most prominent benefits of arbitrating in New York are consolidation of disputes under Rule 2 of the uh, SMA rules and the empowerment of uh, U.S. and New York maritime arbitrators to order a party under certain circumstances to secure um, by posting security uh, pre-award uh, damages. And no other venue in our world uh, with the 15 or 20 other arbitral venues can offer these two features. The other feature that New York can offer as an option, while we do publish our awards and have published 4,300 of them, uh, reasoned awards, I might add, uh, the fact of the matter is if the parties wish confidentiality, they can also have confidentiality. Those are the two most prominent um, features, I think, that distinguish New York arbitration from the rest of our world. And it's all very simple. At the end of the day, we're all competing on the same thing. We're trying to get it right, which means that the parties walk away uh, from the process, absolutely satisfied they've had a fair and impartial hearing. Secondly, that it's done expeditiously. And thirdly, also as important, it's done at a reasonable cost. Well, very, very important because it's a side of the, you have to remember that we as arbitrators and as lawyers only see the process when things go wrong. And uh, what this brings together is the commercial side of our shipping industry, the most international industry in the world, to see how we deal with their disputes, unfortunately, if they do arise. Because businessmen in our business, uh, our industry or any industry, are interested in doing business. They're not interested in dispute resolution. But if it does happen, and it does happen, maybe 4 or 5% of the time of all the deals that are done in our industry, they have a place to go and they should bring it to New York.